Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan and today we're going to talk about what a Roth IRA is. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about what the Roth IRA is, why I need to get one of these, and why many consider it to be one of the best ways to invest. Many consider the Roth IRA to be some sort of loophole by the government where you can actually invest money, let it grow, and then when you retire, you can actually take all the money out tax-free. And the younger that you start investing in a Roth IRA, the better investment it is for you in the long term. My name is Dan and on this channel, I'm gonna be talking about personal finance, how to invest money, how to save more money, and I'm gonna also document my journey as a real estate agent, especially as a new real estate agent. If you like any of those ideas and video ideas, then please consider, consider subscribing to my channel. It will really help me out and also let me know that you guys wanna see more videos like this. All right guys, so let's get into it. What is a Roth IRA? And IRA actually stands for an individual retirement account. So every year you can put in tax or post-tax money. And in this, in this account, you can actually put any financial assets in terms of stocks, bonds, ETFs, or mutual funds. And as of 2020, the limit that you can put into the account is actually $6,000 of post-tax money. And what you can do is you can actually pick and choose what sort of financial assets you want to have in there. Many people just have ETFs and mutual funds where uh, it's a collection of a bunch of stocks and bonds and it's good for investing in the long term. Now like any other retirement account, the point of a Roth IRA is to put in money and the earlier you start investing, the better outcome and better investment it is in the long term. And this is because of the idea of compounding interest. The earlier you start putting money into this account, it will, it will grow and then the investments and the gains will be reinvested back into the account and then that money will also start growing as well. So that's the idea of compounding interest and the younger you start, the better it is. Now, I do want to note that what makes the Roth IRA different is that you actually put post-tax money into this account, which means it is your money that you're putting into your bank account after it is taxed by the government. That's the money that you de then take and put it into a Roth IRA account. Many other retirement accounts, you can actually put in pre-tax money, including your 401k. Before your employer takes the money from taxes, you can actually allocate some money before taxes and put it into that account. Now with the Roth IRA, you, what, you, what you can do is you can put $6,000 a year post-tax money into the account. And then when you retire at 59 and a half years old, you can actually withdraw that money and everything you've gained uh, through the investments in that account tax-free. Now taxes, I can only foresee going up in the future and especially by the time you retire. So the idea that you can withdraw that money tax-free and pay lower tax rates now and not have to pay tax rates when they're already going to be higher in the future, I see that as a very good um, idea and just a generally good investment strategy. Now it makes sense to invest in a Roth IRA when you're young and not making as much money and when you're in a lower tax bracket. So for example, if you're 20 years old and you're starting off making $30,000 a year, you're only going to be paying about $12,000 in federal taxes. And by the time you retire, you could be in a much higher tax bracket or, and the tax rates just might be generally a lot higher. Let's say at 60 years old, you're going to be retiring and withdrawing money at a 35% tax rate. But since it's a Roth IRA, you can actually not pay any of those taxes. Now in a traditional IRA account or 401k, you would actually have to pay that 35% tax rate when you withdraw the money. Therefore, you should start investing in a Roth IRA account as young as possible and especially when, you're, when your tax rate and your tax bracket is lower. So the next idea is when can you take the money out? And there's actually a lot of misconceptions about the Roth IRA where the money you put into the account you can't touch until you're 59 and a half years old, but that is simply not the case. What you can do is the initial investment every year of $6,000, you can always withdraw that money back out anytime you like. Therefore, let's say for example, in 10 years, you invest $6,000 every single year. There's $60,000 and let's say that $60,000 grows to $80,000 in the 10 years. Out of the 80,000, you can actually withdraw that 60,000, which is the initial investment you put in for those 10 years and any time you like. Now for the 20,000 in um, earned interest or uh, capital gains, you actually can't withdraw that without any sort of payment or fee. Now the third point I wanna talk about is how to actually open a Roth IRA account. And 
I just want to note that as long as you're making under $140,000 a year, you can actually contribute the full amount of $6,000 into the Roth IRA. Anything higher than that, and you're probably not going to be allowed to use a Roth IRA. So it's important that while you're young, and if you're young and you're watching this right now, then you know, creating a Roth IRA now, not only for all the benefits that I talked about earlier in this video, but also because uh, before you make $140,000 a year, you want to take advantage of this account before you hit that income. Now, I know that for many of you, you'll, you, you probably won't make $140,000 a year in, a, in the next few years or in the near future, but it is worth considering that maybe your income will increase uh, past that when you're in your 30s or 40s. So definitely take advantage of this Roth IRA now when you're not making as much money. And also, like I said before, take advantage of it while you're young so you can, so you can benefit from compound interest. Now the actual annual amount that you can contribute to a Roth IRA kind of fluctuates um, every now and then. It used to be $5,500, but as of lately, as of the past couple of years, I think it changed and now you can put $6,000 into the account every year of post-tax money. And also, if you're 50 years old or above, you can actually contribute $7,000 a year. Now, almost all brokerage firms actually offer a Roth IRA account. It doesn't matter if it's an online platform or a brick and mortar uh, brokerage or banking institution. They offer, they should offer a Roth IRA account. So you can actually go through whatever investment investment platform you're using right now, whether it be TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, um, Betterment, or one of those bigger banks like Chase and Bank of America. You can always go online and look at the options and see if it's available to you. Most of the bigger banking systems and institutions should offer it to you. Now for me personally, I already had a Betterment account created and once I heard about the Roth IRA and once I learned about it a little more, I actually went on Betterment and it was very easy to actually create a Roth IRA account from there with a few simple clicks and just and telling them that you want to invest in a Roth IRA or open a Roth IRA account. Uh, they ask you a few simple questions and you're already on your way to creating an account. All you would need really is your social security number and then your banking information so you can transfer the funds over. And after that, your Roth IRA account is pretty much set up and you can pick and choose what you want to put in the account and that is entirely up to you. Now through Betterment and what I use, it actually helps you choose a bunch of assets that they recommend. And since it's a robo-advisor, that's kind of what I went with. So it's kind of more hands-free so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, even though I do have to pay a fee every month, I don't have to worry about it and it kind of helps me just and Betterment just helps me figure out what sort of assets to put into the account. Now the Roth IRA can be created at any time, but it is important to note that by the tax deadline every year of April 15th, you want to make sure that you're putting in your annual contribution before that deadline. So for example, let's say you want to contribute for the year of 2020, you want to make sure you put that $6,000 into the account or up to $6,000 into that account before April 15th of 2021. So if you're watching this video now, you could actually still have some time to you know, allocate the $6,000 into a Roth IRA account before the April 15th deadline. After that, April 15th, whatever money that you put into the Roth IRA can only be counted toward your 2021 contribution. And furthermore, for the 2021, you have until April 15th of 2022. So that's it guys. That's, those are the essentials of what a Roth IRA is and hopefully you learned something about it. I really do highly recommend anyone that's watching, especially if you're younger and in your 20s or 30s, to invest in a Roth IRA account. It will really help you out in the long term in terms of retirement. I know it's something that's years and years down the road, but it's definitely gonna be something you'll be thankful for in the future, looking back, uh, looking back into this moment now. Again, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it helped, and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next. If you have a question, leave it in the comment section below and consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace.